and the I suppose the reflexive pairs that are missing are 7-7 seven, seven, okay and finally 8-8 eight, eight has to go in here so we have 8-8 eight, eight in here and this is this new relation R2 so this relation R2 R2 is reflexive isn't it yes it is because for each for each x in this set a one four seven and eight we have x x's in the relation there's one one there's four four there's seven seven and there's eight eight so at this stage we do meet the criteria well for reflexivity okay so we are meeting the criteria for reflexivity and um, what about the criteria uh, with respect to anti-symmetric okay so what does it mean let's just recall uh, recall okay recall a relation or on a set a in other words it's just a subset of the cross product okay uh, is anti-symmetric symmetric okay if and only if okay if and only if okay for each and every a b that's in the relation where a is not equal to B. In other words, we're not interested in the 1-1s, one the 4-4s, four the 7-7s, seven and the 8-8s. Eight we're interested in everything else. We have to have that. It's, it's symmetric couple. BA is not in the relation, okay? For it to be anti-symmetric, okay? okay? So for it to be anti-symmetric, the symmetric couple cannot be in the relation, okay? Uh, and that's what it would mean to be anti-symmetric. So let's have a look at this relation here. You know, we're, we're actually just trying to construct this uh, this particular partial order and you'll actually see when we actually get there what we actually end up with so you can see that we're going to just we're just going to consider all the ordered pairs for each and every ordered pair and we're going to forget about the ordered pairs where a is equal to b we're not interested in them so the ordered pairs that we're interested in is this pair here this one here this one here this one here this one here and we're not interested in the other four and for each one of them, when I flip them, their flips cannot be in the relation. Okay, so you can see four seven. When I flip it, I get seven four. That's in there. It shouldn't be. So actually, already we know this is anti-symmetric. Okay. Uh, what about seven one? Well, when I flip, it, I get one seven. Oh, that's in there. So there's a second reason why this is is not anti-symmetric. There's four one. When I flip it, I get seven four. Uh, four one. When I flip it, I get one four. Is one four in here? No, one four ain't there. But so it, it's okay on that condition. But we've got two reasons why this particular relation uh, is not anti-symmetric so far. So it's not anti-symmetric. Okay. Uh, so albeit it's reflexive, it ain't anti-symmetric. And because it's not anti-symmetric, once again, this is not a partial order. Okay. Say we make it anti-symmetric. So how do we make it anti-symmetric? Well, let's just first of all make sure that it is reflexive. So we have or three is let's say one one four four seven seven eight eight isn't that right okay so this is so far is definitely it's definitely uh it's definitely reflexive and let's throw in four seven so there's four seven now goes in as an ordered pair so i need to make sure for this to be anti-symmetric i need to make sure that i never put in it's symmetric couple so seven four can't be in here so at this stage now this is anti-symmetric okay so seven four can't be in there uh, let's throw in let's throw in seven one okay, let's throw in seven one into this relation okay uh, when i flip it i get one seven so for it to be anti-symmetric i need to make sure that one seven ain't in there uh, and in this case it is uh, so actually at this particular stage now what we have is we have a new relation this relation here Okay, it is reflexive. It's reflexive, so R three is reflexive. Okay, uh, and it's also R three is anti-symmetric. Okay, because when I look at all the ordered pairs where the A is not equal to the B, they're the only ones I'm interested in. For each ordered pair in the relation, and only the ordered pairs where A is not equal to B. We have that it's flip BA is not in the relation. So the only ordered pairs that we're interested in is 4, 7 and 7, 1. And you can see that the flips of them, the symmetric couples, 7, 4 and 1, 7, ain't in this relation. So it is anti-symmetric. So this relation now is anti-symmetric. So we're nearly there. We want to try to create a relation. We want to try to create a relation. Okay. This relation needs to be a partial order. 
So at this stage, we do have a reflex of an anti-symmetric one, okay? Uh, but we need this to be, we need this also to be transitive. So the question now is, uh, is this relation transitive? Is, is R3 transitive, okay? What does it mean to be transitive? Let's just recall to be transitive, uh, <coughs> excuse me, means that, uh, well, a relation, a relation or on a set A, okay, uh, is transitive, is transitive if and only if, okay, um, for all, for each and every, uh, let's say, xy, that's in R, and uh, yz, that's in R. So each time you can take a journey from a point to another point, and then hop off at that point and get back on and go to another point, this is like bus journeys, okay, uh, you should be able to go then from the source right to the final destination. Well then, we must have, we must have, we must have x, z being elements of R, okay? So for this to be transitive, okay, for this relation here to be transitive, 